first thing, uh, we're going to show you how to uh, take a used oil sample using the uh, oil pump. First thing you're going to want to do is pull the dipstick out and measure the, the tube to the dipstick. You want to make sure that the tube is uh, slightly longer than dipstick so that you have some room to, uh, to move around. So that's a good size there. You can just set the dipstick aside. Next thing we're going to do is get the pump ready. You'll put the, the tube inside the pump long enough to go inside the, the bottle that's included in the oil sample kit. Put the top of the tube on. And then you're going to tighten down this adjuster right there for the tube. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slide the tube down and inside the dipstick. And you want to be careful not to go all the way to the bottom of the pan, but far enough to where you can get some get some oil. You're going to start pulling vacuuming that oil up into the tube until you've got the tube full. Once you've got the tube full, you're going to want to loosen up this adjuster on the little hose so that you can drain that oil back down into the engine. Set that aside for the moment. And you can pull your tube out, letting that oil drain back down in. Okay. Once that's done, you can set the tube aside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bottle from the pump. Set the pump aside. We'll put the cap back onto the bottle. You want to make sure you have it as full as you possibly can there. Put that lid on tight. And then in the kit, there's a Ziploc bag. You're going to want to insert the, as well as a, an absorbent uh, pad. You'll want to wrap the tube in the absorbent pad first preventing the leaks and the two of those go inside the Ziploc bag you just press out the air and then the next thing you're going to do there's an info slip that you'll need to fill out essentially telling you you know the name of the vehicle the date the oil was taken the engine make model uh, whether it's gas diesel and any other information you want to uh, provide had you you've done any work on the engine or whatever in the remark section and then how many miles you were on the oil uh, how many miles are actually on the engine uh, if you added any oil between oil changes and what the oil type and weight is. Once you've got that filled out, you'll simply wrap that around the outside of the plastic bag and then all of it goes back inside the shipping container and then place the lid on. And then this is a uh, um, prepaid postage. So you simply just, uh, you can record the tracking number so you know when it's been received by uh, Blackstone. Uh, but you can just hand this to the mailman and uh, U.S. Postal Service will deliver it to Blackstone for the analysis.